Well, December 28th, the start of a new week, almost the end of a, of a year. What a year. Um, before I start doing what I was going to do today, um, I, just un I just came from the post office and dropped off a, uh, another hundred books uh, to be mailed. And I went and checked my P.O. box and there were two boxes, two books uh, in my P.O. box that obviously the shipping labels had peeled off of them. And um, they're just signed with my name in them. I have no idea who those books were going to. Um, in future reference, I'm, this, I'm learning this as I'm going along. Uh, on, on each box, I'll either... Taping all the labels would have been just insane, but the adhesive was really good on them, so I'm really surprised that they came off. Um, but I'll notate on each box what their order number is for future reference. But if in the next, because I'm still, I'm pretty close to shipping the, the end of the, the bulk of orders at this point. If for some reason you see this and you haven't received a book like in the next few weeks, um, send a note to the website and we'll try to follow through and see. There was no dedication in them. It was just a signature. They were just signed books, but it, I was hoping it would be like to, you know, Patricia or something where I might be able to go back and forensically look through all the orders. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's a drag. I was really shocked to see that because when I put these labels on the boxes, it's a really good adhesive and I rub them on really good. So I, I have no idea how this happened unless they just pack boxes really tight and shove something in that maybe smeared right along that box and um, and just peeled off, off the label. So I completely apologize for, for this situation for, it, you know, hopefully no more than the two people that are, have experienced this now. But if, like, by the middle of January, you haven't received a book uh, domestically, because I'm now starting on fulfilling all of the overseas orders. Uh, and I've got quite a few of those, and I, I need to do that. I've got to pick up custom sleeves that you put all the paperwork in and all this stuff. It's a, it's, it's a far more involved procedure, so I'm going to get on that and get those shipped off. Um, it's, we had a, a, an unbelievable rainstorm last night. It's the first one of the year for Los Angeles of this magnitude. I mean, it was thunder and lightning and you know, a lot of rain, uh, which was spectacular and, and exciting and also really, uh, it, it, it's, it's scary you know, because we've had such bad fires that the uh, hillsides are pretty denuded. So I haven't seen the news yet today about if any kind of you know, mudslides or anything took place last night. And we have such a huge homeless population in Los Angeles living on the streets. The idea of people having to find shelter and, and you know, covering their belongings and stuff during a storm like this is really tough. So um, my heart really goes out to them. It's like you drive around and you see these people and you go, why does this exist in this world? That these people are having to put up with this kind of a situation when... There should be answers for, for all, all of these things that being addressed. But uh, it's like putting Band-Aids on amputations. This is it's a major problem, and it really does not get addressed the way it should be. So um, it was musically, it was really fun doing um, Jennifer Perryman yesterday. And Jennifer actually contacted me and, and thanked me for putting it up and... and uh, and we got to talking, and she ordered a book. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Um, I'll do some more of her. She's she's really quite an artist. Uh, I really enjoyed working on her music, and uh, the variety of things she does is is pretty pretty amazing. So so I kind of thought I'll, I'll continue down this road a little bit um, before I'm so distracted now. Just playing just feels like I got to get all this other stuff taken care of. And uh, I'm sort of playing at night for myself just to keep my chops up. But I'll get back into digging up songs and playing. Um, but uh, when I, back in the early 90s, now I met this artist back in the 70s um, when she was married to Stephen Stills. And we were at Caribou Ranch um, doing uh, Stephen's record, one of Stephen's albums. 
in the dead of winter. It's in Colorado, up in the dead of middle of nowhere. But Caribou Ranch was a really fabulous studio. And um, so we were doing that. And, and it, during the course of the project, he said, oh, I'd like you to meet my wife. And, uh, and her name, she was French. Her name was Véronique Sanson. And Vero is one of the top artists, uh, recording artists in, in French music, pop, contemporary pop history. A remarkable, remarkable artist. And um, she was pregnant at the time with their son, Christopher, who's also a really great artist now. And he's a grown man with kids and all that. I mean, it's, time moves on in such remarkable ways. But um, so I worked with Vero. A lot of musicians I know had worked with Vero over the years. And then I reconnected with her in the beginning of the 90s and uh, started going to France and touring with her and recording with her. And we did quite a few projects together and spent a lot of time uh, traveling and on the road together. Now, on one of the first tours that we that we did over there, the band that was put together, um, one of the singers and also played some guitar on it, um, was his English artist named Mark Williamson. And um, Mark and I became really great friends on the road and we worked together for many, many years. Um, and then he eventually has moved down to Nashville. He's been dealing with some health, some health issues and things, but he's, I believe, still down in Nashville. But at one point, um, he was part of a band that was being put together called TRW, which was Michael Thompson, John Robinson, and Mark Williamson. And I did some tracks on their album, which was really fun. But Mark went in the studio and did, in 94, uh, did a solo album. And I, I wrote down some notes here, because this is really quite a bunch of characters here. Um, I believe the album, uh, what was it called? Um, let me see if it's on, on here. Time Slipping Away, I believe, was the name of the album. Uh, and um, so that was cut in 94. Let's see if I got it. it. Sometimes you get a mustache here that decides to go that way, and it just, it just drives me nuts. Um, so on this one, uh, the, the first song we're going to do is Got to Be a Better Way. And I believe that's the song I had. Uh, yeah. No, I have time slipping by, as it's all. I'll talk about this other one. Um, but the, um, the band on it was Mark singing, uh, Michael Thompson on guitar, myself, uh, the great Mike Baird on drums, Dave Cook on piano and organ, uh, Eric Marenthal on saxophone, Russ Freeman on acoustic guitars and keys, and the background vocals were um, Mark Williamson, uh, Lance Ellington, and Annie McCraig. And um, just, he's got such a great pop voice and from this period, you know, it's like those Paul Young vocals of this period and stuff like that. So um, so I want to just play a couple of, of, th of Mark's pieces because I loved working with Mark. And for anybody that hadn't heard of him, this is another opportunity to find another really wonderful artist. So here we go. This is Time Slipping By. I think it's Time Slipping By. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, my, my technical prowess is in full glory here. <laughs>
It's, yeah, there's a lot of uh, Daryl Hall in, in that, too. I mean, just love that, that, that style. I mean, Mark is such a strong singer. Um, the other song uh, is Got to Be a Better Way. And I think I had that uh, Phil Thompson um, wrote the lyrics uh, to this song. And um, yeah. let me just play another tune. This is Mark Williamson. I mean, I love this stuff. This is just really great. Let me make sure we're at the top. Eric's such a good player.
twisting wire With your face pressing caught on the glass You just couldn't ask Shut full of poison And shut full of fear I saw pain on the line
Yeah. So that's Mark Williamson, and that was from the album Time Slipping By from 1994. Um, I wish Mark all the best. He's, he's, he's had some struggles um, health-wise, so, you know, these are my thoughts. Um, again, um, it's fun to find artists I work with that, that aren't, were not part of, like, mainstream, like James Taylor, Phil Collins, Jackson Brown, all these people. Um, and because to me, they're also deserving of, of being discovered, being heard. They've, they made a, a great effort in, in their art, and it's nice to be able to present it. And it's always a, a thrill for me to get in the studio with artists that you kind of go, oh, man, this cat's great. This girl's great. It's amazing. So I love that. I love that. Um, again, I apologize to whoever ordered these two books that have come back without a label on them. Just keep track of things, and if for some reason you ordered a book and it never arrives, because it, once I take it to the post office, I, it, it's out of my hands. I have no idea how this stuff's handled or taken care of. Um, I just pack it the best I possibly can from my end. And uh, so, you know, in, in a few weeks, uh, from now, like mid-January, if you haven't received your book domestically, um, maybe let me know. We can do some kind of follow-up from this end because it just sucks that there's e even one glitch in this. There's, you know, you've you've put out your hard-earned cash, and I've put in a ton of work, and I hate to see it for naught on here. So, um, so we'll, we'll work this out, and and again. Um, Numbers are out of uh, out of control here in, in Los Angeles, and now they're expecting a, a massive surge in numbers with all the people returning from the holidays and flying. It's <laughs> oh, it's hard. It's just hard every day, you know. Just wanting wanting this to end, but so much is being done to not help it end, and and it's all through frustration and and you know it's just. Who would have ever thought, who would have ever thought we'd find ourselves in this situation? So thank you so much to the, especially the, the healthcare workers, but everybody involved, the people that are cleaning the hospitals and, and the teachers and the postal workers and the restaurant workers that are behind the scenes still trying to get food out, even if it's all just takeaway. I mean, there's like so many aspects to what's going on and, um, uh, it's t it's tough. It's hard. It's hard to be pumped every day, but it's important to stay positive and look towards um, a better tomorrow. And it won't come quickly because this is a big this is a big problem that we have a long way to dig out of yet. But as long as we can start working in the right direction with this, um, there's hope, and that's what I'm concerned with is just having hope through all of this. So take good care. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take care of more, uh, more of my, my stuff today, just as, as you will do yours. And, um, and go check out Mark Williamson. He's, a, he's really a good cat and a fine artist. There's some really good songs on this album. And uh, so I will talk to you tomorrow. Just take good care and all my best wishes. So bye-bye.